All right, we're going to talk about setting up our water monitors. When we get our water monitors home as babies, they're going to live in just a 10 gallon tank and that works out fine. We're going to use cypress bedding, which helps keep the moisture up, and we're going to want to give them a place to hide. We're going to give them a cave like this. And we're going to actually want to give them a very large water bowl. You can actually use um, a container like this and you can fill it with water. So we'll put our monitors in here. And you can actually fill up uh, like this deli cup or you can get a much larger water bowl. Uh, for today we're just going to give them a small drinking bowl because that's what we have handy. But if you even set up their cage so it was almost half water and half land that would work. And then we're going to put a screen cover on the cage as well as a heat pad underneath the cage. So they're going to have the screen. Now this screen is all ventilated. For water monitors, they want their humidity to be at least 50%. So what we're going to do is we're going to tape up the top of the cage so that a lot of the humidity stays inside of the cage and it doesn't escape. And you can do that with duct tape or even better with shipping tape. And then you can put a fluorescent light and you can put a heat pad underneath. And that will help keep their moisture level appropriate. The humidity should be 60% um, or more.